Hey everyone, welcome to Higan Iruthil, and we are with a new event, Wonder Fantasy. So this is going to run up until June eighth. I assume this this uh, type of event will be on a limited time, but it you know it recycles every month. So without further delay, guys, we need to for this you know for this content need to be able to um, get illusion prism so you're gonna be farming these um, and spend these in the shop here we'll go back to the shop later and discuss what items do you need to prioritize for this content so legendary epic is just going to be your leaderboard and you really need to stick with the two contents that you have down here this one the factory express this um restarts daily and you could get uh points daily once you've cleared this one this is a more simpler content than this one the lava dragon so lava dragon is going to be your longer event so factory express and your lava dragon is going to have the same mechanic in which you're going to be clearing them so you have to if you want to you know to get more points um go with the factory express this is actually easier and uh, kind of manageable to get the lava dragon has better rewards though and but is harder to get okay so i'm just going to be giving you guys a crash course on how to clear this one okay so on your leftmost side you have their uh, difficulty so one two and three the difficulty also corresponds to points okay so next up is going to be your buffs the buffs you have to open or unlock as well you will be needing um them in some of the stages that are very hard that you can mix and match okay so i'll go first i'll zero the difficulty here first so if you notice you have stages here that you have to unlock okay so like this one um super devil kings three clear you have to have 12 levels and achieve eight points to unlock the points are here the fictional aura these are points so as soon as you unlock something, you're going to be getting points. Okay? So that's that is very that that is how simple it is. But you when you unlock um a certain stage, like for example, all of them are unlocked, but you have to unlock down below here. For level 3, you again, you'll be requiring certain levels to activate. So clear with 12 difficulty what that means is you need to have 12 here 12 here below so the max that i could have is nine so definitely i could not clear level three at this point so you have to clear this one let's say with this one so for this one you just have to achieve eight points so i'm at two at this point i cannot actually clear it again so you just have to grind this out and meet the criteria. So eight points here or fictional aura to unlock. For here you have eight, but you need to clear total of 12 point difficulty. Okay, so again, um, just clear some of the stages. I would suggest that you clear the top first for level one, then go down to level two as slow as possible because um so achieve five this is going to be five so let's see what i can what i can unlock here as an example so this one is uh five points okay bear in mind guys that if you use a buff all your difficulty will be reduced to zero even if for example you only use one buff like for example i'll use you're at five difficulty here if you just use one buff 
it goes down to zero. So buffs are really for for cases wherein you don't you you know you don't have to unlock a stage because um, if you don't have to unlock stages that have difficulty levels, if it's only points like for example this one, you can use them. But if it has a difficulty um, number, then you cannot use buffs definitely. So let us see here. So this is okay. So, so far, the ones that I have checked, like for example, this one, this I have cleared, this I think I cleared these two already. So those I can actually use. If I actually clear this stage here, so this one doesn't have a qualifier. So let's clear this one so that I could increase my points. So again, this is going to be a bit grindy because each stage is going to have five difficulty levels. So let us, um, what I do, I usually bring my, you know, um, more this is the, the, the lineup that I think is stable enough that it could clear enough survivability. I just do a autoplay for this one so that I could clear these. More or less the harder stages you would need to, um, what do you call this? You would need to um, manual play most of the difficult stages. But for the easy ones, you can actually do a auto play. So also you can deploy at most eight characters for this poem. So now you have four. You can actually deploy, let's say for example, I want to swap in. That's your fifth. So technically, you have deployed uh, Sheru there. So again, you can actually mix and match depending on the difficulty of the stage. Don't forget that you have that option. But if you want to, you know, use one team, it's not a problem really. So again, stages which don't have any checks, you can get points still from them. And uh, because those points, again, you'll be using to clear the other stages. Uh, as, you, as you can see, I had two before this um, stage. Then after this, definitely, I will be having three already, as you will see in a while. This is going to be uh, cleared in a bit. So, so far, I'm, I'm actually... Liking the stages, it has a bit of difficulty mixing and matching your heroes in terms of team build and gameplay. Um, because again, there are there are mismatches that you have to play to your advantage, not to your disadvantage. But again, the easier stages are going to be easy. The harder stages, you will have to be more, you know be more diligent in building your teams so we're now at uh, i think we're done okay so we're back we have the last boss here um again so where was i so more or less again what i'm saying is it's a slow grind again um clearing stages first that they don't have checks so that you have uh, aura info points and also making sure that you go down so that you could um, get more difficulty points as well to clear the harder stages below. So just gonna be going back. So aura added, as you can see, from two to three. So again, this is going to be a slow grind, guys. This one is, I think, the next that I can unlock with five points. So that is it. So again, if you don't have a you know a deep enough deep enough lineup you can actually go with the factory express and try to inch your way here and get points as you go along this one has a lot more points as you can see the rewards here are better 2000 points and as you go you actually have a uh, five-star play selector here. And there are a lot of goodies here. So again, make sure that you try to clear this again, step by step. 
clear stages without a check mark because those will generate you points also please make sure that you clear difficulties one going down one two three so that difficulty points may be credited so that you can clear the harder stages here with this one 12 and 10 and 8 points here let's go back to the fantasy shop first okay best buys for the fantasy shop you will have brilliant sigil inspiration sigil the top row and these two so you have Reagent, Pure Potion, Muses Guide. So these six you have to finish. They are very, very scarce. The rest, once you have extra, be my guest on what you want to purchase. But at this point, make sure that you get the top six here. First six. So that is it, guys. Thank you very much for staying this far. Also, comment down in the comment section. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.